Hello everyone. Let's solve this problem very quickly. Okay, so we are having a um, square root of 6 whole number x over 4 to be equal to 5 over 2. Now this is very simple. This is very simple because um, this is what we will do. First of all, convert this to improper form so that you will have square root 4 times 6 is 24 plus x. You have 24 plus x as the numerator. Then the denominator becomes 4. And this will be equal to 5 over 2, right? <coughs> okay, so if that is the case, then we can equally split this so we have square root of 24 plus x all over square root of 4 is equal to 5 over 2. Okay. Now the next thing is this. We can split it again. So we have um, square root of 24 plus x over 2 is equal to 5 over 2 okay but then do not forget that anytime you have the same denominator what do you do you can decide to work with the powers because if this is equal to this and the denominators are the same definitely the um, the numerators should be the same right so we can just say that square root of 24 plus x is equal to 5 Let's continue from here. Now, the next thing I will do is to remove this square root sign. And I will do that by squaring both sides. 24 plus x, this will be squared. And then 5 will also be squared. Now, this and this will cancel. So that we will have 24 plus x equals 5 squared and it's 25. 5 squared is not um, 10, but 25, because it is 5 times 5. Now, let's make x the subject, so that x will be equal to 25 minus um, 24, meaning that x is equal to 1. But can this be correct? Let's go back to the original equation. We got 6 whole number x over 4, to be equal to 5 over 2. Now, let me deal with the left hand side. This is going to be square root of 6, six whole number. x is now 1, so we have 1 over 4. Now, if we continue with this, let's convert this to improper form. So that we will have 4 times 6, that is 24 plus 1, we have 25 over 4. This is improper, but then we have to do it this way so that we can find the square root. Now, the square root of this will give us 5 over 2, and that is what we got on the right hand side, right? So this is a confirmation that, that x equals 1 actually satisfies the equation. Thank you for watching.